Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 Modern Day Vatican City. So, Vatican City, you have grown quite a bit since last time. Well, maybe not since last time, but since the first time. This small little state that currently have 930 strong bishops standing and preaching to take over the entire world. Well, maybe not the entire world, but at least the entirety of Africa, if we would like. Because we're probably, go probably gonna need this amazing, amazing continent full of manpower just waiting to join the Papal Army and the Papal Armed Forces. So, um, yes, we are at, currently at war with the African Federation, which consists of basically two nations right now, I think. Yes, Congo and Congo. Oh, wait. And Mozambique, of course. Um, I'm, I have a war goal against you currently. I think I might just declare war. Or actually, I will probably wait until the last possible day. So, uh, well, if you don't join the faction, then I won't actually have to fight. Well, I will hopefully be able to bring you down as quickly as possible without anyone else joining. If you do join the faction, well, no worries then. Uh, so, let's just wait for the last possible day just in case. Uh, currently, our situation with Mechanized is actually horrible. I was gonna say with our supplies, great, but Mechanized is actually really bad. Uh, let's just double check. From new deployment, 620, and from new deployment, okay, 1,100. Not as bad as the initial, the initial look, but uh, we have two more currently going on. That's pretty good. Um, let's see, we have uh, no... Oh, okay, one here and one here that's still f fully rolling. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Um, okay, I'm in full import... Uh, Full, uh, unfulfilled import request from China. Let's just fix that. Actually, let's go down like this. Who cares? All right. Otherwise, let's just begin the episode and let's continue pushing into Congo or Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, both of you, please bring down this nation. And right, so you said you missed putting anti-air in the papal state. No, actually not, because we had already built level five over there. Um, so all of this is still fine. Yes, let's just continue. And of course, before we go for any kind of war against you, um, against European Union, of course we'll build level ten forts in every single one of these provinces. Probably even two layers, just in case. But uh, we'll see. Well, what happens when we come to that? And this is still the entire thing. Should we go for it or should we not go for it? This is less consumer goods, more natural unity and less research speed. Let's see, how many factors are we currently use for consumer goods? Zero. We're at minus 16%, so we could actually go down this path and that wouldn't actually hurt us at all. Factor output minus 35%. That's the kind of one that is <laughs> preventing me currently. Monthly population minus 5%. We could go for this one. I don't think we will basically ever get a high monthly population. And this will just give us 35% more factory output. And we will just never go for this one, I think. Because this will actively work against us. And this, well, it might give us some more. But I don't think this one is going to be the big win or lose moment but i think this one with extra factor output might be so let's grab that one finally so we are just now mobilizing the female workforce um two problems right here and uh, let's try to attack you from both sides actually you are having trouble right now so let's just select you and you hold both of them and then attack at the same time and that helps much more but for First and foremost, both of you, please get in right here so I can just get around you and attack you from even more sides. This is going to take another, let's see, oh god, seven days. <laughs> That's horrible. Uh, so we have declared this war on the 10th of December at latest. So hopefully we'll have, well, hopefully they will have fallen before that. Otherwise, well, I'll just have to declare it anyway. <laughs> uh, one of these units, let's attack right here and see if we can get around. Like that, excellent, and wait, oh yeah, right, you're moving, I was like, how do you get here? Uh, very short, okay, pushing, you're going here, you are still attacking here, but are, is completely hidden. Um, oh, actually you broke them, oh, I completely missed that, oh, that's awesome, actually, 
That's really, really good. Let's see if that is enough to actually make you, well, fall. Uh, you have another 10 days, you have another 5 days. Oh, 3 days. Cool. Hopefully that will be enough. Let's just double check right here. Okay, it's definitely not gonna be enough. So you, okay, you're basically already spraying around as much as possible. Very good. Um, let's take two of you right here and um, yeah, that's gonna be it. We have another seat right here. We have one more down here and one more in the middle. It seems like the north is the most useless situation or useless place, but you do have quite a bit of manpower. 8 million and some very nice resources up there, so not completely useless. Um, no, you two, one right here and one just go f down for it. Uh, let's see. I need to select one of the the one that's going short and so you split up like this. Cool. Very good. Uh, you pushing right here, you pushing right here, you go forward, you continue forward. Uh, 20th November still, we're fine. And how's supply situation going? Uh, 4,800 minus still, and not much better right there, but we are looking better in medium tanks. We're continuously producing right here, we have 30 out of 60. Oh! For a second I thought Field Commanders right here also had unlimited... Oh, we will probably need more, at least two or three fil full Field Commanders then, to actually support all the troops I was planning to use to invade European Union with. So yeah, that was interesting. Nice surprise there. Uh, 500 days, uh, it's a bit too much really, come on. I can't pick all ahead of time tech, but I'm really just trying to, well, pick the only thing that we actually need. Oh right, air doctrines. Right, we're already producing right there. Uh, let's see, planes, everything is fine and well right there. We could always go for some carriers, at least so we have, so we have them if we want to go for it. Alright, you are continuously going forward. Yes, no problems. Over oh, very, very nice. That was a big overrun. And now you grabbed everything right here. So come on, let's see how much left. 18.5. So if you all could just push in as hard as possible right there, that would be much appreciated. I don't care that you actually lose on the left flank or the right flank. I just want you to get in there and bring the city under my control. Because... Time is getting tight right now. We are very shortly running out of time, <laughs> basically. Uh, let's see, how many more days? Come on, two more days. Okay, that's gonna be enough. And then I, re I really want them to just regroup and actually be in position when I declare the war. I don't want to lose this because that's gonna lower our natural unity and... Oh god, okay, we are not going to actually bring you down in time. So we'll just have to declare war with what we... Oh wait, can you even move over here? I don't think so. No, we, we'll have to go through. Oh, we have to go through these two nations. Let's double check. Um, just for war goal, that's gonna be 60 days and you're gonna be 120 days, right? Yeah, okay, I guess we just have to go through both of those nations. Uh, let's just declare this war then, because then it doesn't really matter. Just please tell me you are joining the Afghan Federation and not some other federation. Or you can stay completely independent. That would actually be the best. I don't know why you're staying completely independent, but, um, well, I won't actually complain about it. I won't complain. So we can have this war goal in another, well, 54 days. And that means we can bring you down. Kind of sad that we have to go through them, but I was planning to annex them, well, after this. Well, two one province miners with lots of resources and let's see, 12 million and 16, uh, 16 million men. Well, I won't actually complain to that. I will gracefully accept it, accept the donations to my army. Uh, nice amount of motorized, thank you. And you can now stop doing whatever you're doing. And let's see, double check. Yes, no one can move in right here. I kind of want to kill you too, but this is going to be, yeah, 310 days, not worth it at all. Oh god, we lost one division. Welcome to the army. Oh, please. Oh, cool. Fister Pope is still going strong. <laughs> so I'm going to have, uh, let's see, you were the one I first justified, right? Cool. Everyone right here, get in there. And let's see, where my, where's my air force? Right here. 400 planes, perfect, right here, and get signed right there. Oh. The cutest little Arizona. 
Oh wait, no, no, no. Since we're at war, you are actually gonna actively do a mission, which means accidents. Let's avoid accidents. Uh, let's continue down right here. Thank you. My fleet is still holding strong. I wanna see 100% and I see 100%, excellent. Missile cruisers, yes, continually expanding. Well, well, maybe not themselves are expanding, but our fleet size is, is expanding with, um, well, quite a bit. Let's see, how many factories do we have? 62 assigned to it. Uh, 15 for screen ships, so destroyers. And 45 for more missile cruisers. I do not complain at all over that. That's very nice. Are we actually producing any infantry equipment? It just hit me. If we remove everything. So we are producing with two factories, two factories, two factories. <laughs> That's basically nothing at all. Um, one thing we could do right now. Oh god, you're missing so much equipment right now. That's kind of bad, actually. <laughs> From the vision reinforcements. Okay, uh, let's do like this. Let's cancel some of these. You won't really help me much right here, but at least a tiny little bit. We're doing fine with tanks right now. So it's the mechanized one we're really falling behind on. So let's just show all the factories once again and see what we're currently trying to fill up. Uh, we're filling up uh, more tanks. Let's not do it and uh, let's put... Actually, I want two more right here because we're gonna need so many more quite soon. At least two more actually. Because I guess, yeah, we haven't done our super expansion of this division, so once we finally do that, we are gonna be draining mechanized, I don't know, <laughs> like hell, just constantly. And that's gonna really strain our production. So factory output plus 35%. So let me just double check right here. Oh. So, equal workforce plus 35%. Uh, very right, taxes minus 20%. What? Oh, right, right. You have very... Hmm. We basically have everything we want now. We are minus 16% right there. So, if we go to very low taxes right now, that's plus 10% natural unity, plus 10% consuming goods, which means we're still under zero. Yeah, we gain some research time instead of penalty. But we basically have everything we want in there. As I said two seconds ago. I want very low taxes. And if we check right here now. I want to see that number spike a bit. Ooh, 3.7 instead of 3.1. That's actually quite a nice boost. Oh god, just look at all those mod modifiers. That's crazy. Uh, let's see on something that's actually producing quite a lot. Nine every day. That's really, really good. Uh, we're currently at 95%. Thank you. Nine every single day. Okay. Minus attrition. We don't have armor specialist. Wait, wait, wait. Artillery? Did we pick the wrong one before? Like ages ago. Oh, I can't believe it. We picked the wrong one ages ago, and I just realized I've not had my face cam on this entire episode. I think we picked the wrong one. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's switch you out to armor. No, oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> oh, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Double check things, please. Actually, let's just double check everything right now. Capital chips, I can't check you because you bugged out. I can't check you, well, that's correct. Nothing right here. No, good decisions. Can't do anything right here, all right. Very low natural, t very low taxes. Yeah, cool, and heavy regulated. So we don't actually need consumer goods. Currently, what are we on? We are, wait, 4%. 16 factories. We were at minus 70%. So how in the hell... Alright, oh, you can minus and then... Oh. 
Minus, let's see, 10%, 2 plus 10%. Of course we get... Okay, let's go to low taxes. That's minus 5% right here. And how many percent were we over? 4%, okay. So let's go to low taxes instead. I really just don't want any consumer goods. That's 16 factories. That's actually quite a lot. That's one entire line right here, plus one. So uh, yeah, that's actually reducing our production fishing by quite a bit. All right, what else can we do? Actually, I was complaining about my military force. And why am I not actually building military factories right here? I should just fill this land with more military factories. And yeah, this, the, all of these stuff are nice, but that's going to be after we have built our military industry as much as possible. So get back military industry, 23 days for every single factory, that's going to be ama that's amazing. Uh, two factories right here. Modified government, let's see right here. No, we're not going for that. Let's see, anything otherwise, air doctrine level, sure, let's go for it. How many more days before we can invade you? Another... Come on. Another nine days. Okay, cool. Two thousand pull power. It's actually quite nice to just have this stockpile. Then we can do stuff like this. Just try it out, switch back and forward a couple of times. Oh wait. Oh god, I would like to really see how much manpower we would get if we switch back to to uh, war economy, but I do not want to lose, well, consuming goods 10% and all the X bonuses for production. So we're gonna stay here and only when it's very critical switch from there. All right, cool. Is that level 10 fort? No, level one fort. Vatican City goes to war. You, very quickly, please assault. We have their superiority. Oh, wait, we might not. Afghan association. Okay, I'm completely fine with you joining, right? Oh God, we just slaughtered that. You disappeared so quickly, and uh, who joined? Who joined your side? Who am I at war with right now? Oh, we have land right here. Right, I'd completely forgotten about that. Um, yeah, but who, who, who was the one who joined you actually? Uh, let's double check. Congo. Here. Oh, come on. Okay, uh, let's send it not... F no, no, no. I want six divisions right here. And you're gonna bring that down. Because that's all you have, right? <laughs> let's double check that. <laughs> that's the only red area, right? Yes, cool. Okay, the rest of you... Okay, let's just make it like this. Everyone right there. Split, split. Six divisions, very cool, and you right here. All the planes, you are now going in, in this territory, and please assault. And we should be winning. Oh god, your divisions are actually quite good. The only bad thing about your troops are that I have decryption advantage, and air superiority, and none of your divisions can actually pierce my armor. So yeah, you might have a Awesome attack, but let's just double check our divisions. So, of all those attacks, well, we only take 20, well, 24% of all those hard attacks. Or actually, we take 24% of all those soft attacks, which you mostly are shooting me at me. Uh, let's see, yeah. Most of them are soft attacks. So, how many hard attacks, actually? 14. So, we basically take all of those hard attacks, but none of those soft attacks, which means you're basically, even the attacks that hit, don't do that much damage. So just continue pushing in and bring them down. You're actually missing supply too. That's you should you should be ashamed of yourself. Holy crap! Uh, let's just go in straight here. Bring them down. I don't care how you do it. Just charge right, right ahead. This is not the best way of attacking, but we should be good enough. Cool. You're now falling back. Just go for the capital right away. Uh, no, all of your divisions right in here, and I want half of you to be attacking right here. Well, half you go down. Yes, important. Yes, expand this territory as quickly as possible. Or expand the front line as much as possible as quickly as possible. You should be attacking from the north. 
I don't, you're not in your position that you wanted, but that's not really necessary. All we need is to bring down this single state of 1 million. And how many factory do I get from you? Oh wait, you have this small little island too? Come on! Really, we have to bring down that too? That's annoying. Alright, uh, I don't want to split my entire for fleet. Actually, do you have a fleet? You have... Three ships. Alright, uh, let's just bring down a tiny, tiny bit then. Someone said I was gonna should wait actually until until very very late game or actually until I have the best tech before I build my rocket factories because otherwise I will just have the worst rockets everywhere and that might actually be very much true. So um, okay, I don't have anyone queued up right now because there are no slots left right here. We have some here. We have one here. Okay. Well, whatever. We'll not have the best rockets, but it's basically just. I just want to have them there to basically waste time. Just throw them down, hopefully do some damage to the infrastructure right here, and just slow them down just a tiny bit if that's all they can do. Okay, combat unit destruction, thank you for that. Uh, let's fix level 3 rockets, so whenever we accidentally spend someone, we'll get better rockets. How long range do you actually have? You have range of oh, 500, that's basically nothing. Too bad. Alright, I need... How many divisions did you have right here? Two divisions, so I want... Two of you. You should go from here to here. And I actually didn't take any part of my fleet right now. Create a new fleet, I want... One, two, three destroyers. Oh, that was fun. Come on! One, two, three, and I want, well, two missile cruisers. One, two, this is good enough. I want you to be going straight down here. And you, along with this poor little fleet. You see, you scatter up again and then, well, group together. You are gonna be on convoy escort once again. Actually, I don't remember if you were on Convoy Escort. Let's do a search and destroy, just in case. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that just in case should be unnecessary because, well, they don't have any troops. You are very slowly jumping in right here. Very cool. How long before this war? Uh, another 33 days. Everyone is going right there except you two tanks. You have another 7 days before I can execute this order. Thank you. Hopefully this should be enough. Come on, I know that the tanks tanks are not the best thing to actually invade with. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Tanks are not the best way to do naval invasions with. Hopefully this should still be enough. Okay, pushing in. How much national unity do you have? You have a very good amount of national unity, so I don't think bringing down the capital will be enough. But it will be a good first step. But we're basically doing no damage because that's a level 10 fort. Yeah, let's not attack right there, please. Let's just surround the entire nation and just bring them down one by one. Oh, actually, we're now finally bordering you, so... Okay, let's finish this off now. Come on, you can do it, tanks. Come on. You're doing horribly in damage. Minus 98%, but... Oh, right, you, you of course have some help. Oh, well, no, 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 actually, you just deployed one more unit. Yeah, you won't actually be able to bring you down. So, let's cancel that order. Come on, return. Return. Thank you. You're going straight here. You're going to help on destroying that while we do something with our Swiss Guard once again. Hello, Swiss Guard. You're finally going to get what I wanted you to do before. I want you to become the best, strongest around, and nothing is ever going to keep you down. Right, we don't have any artillery. Actually, let's just put normal artillery. Artillery, we, you're going to get some uh, engineer corps. You're going to get more support artillery. Let's get you some support and the tank guns. Everything is still looking very much fine. Let's give you... Hmm. Signal company? No, that's ne un not necessary. Ah, uh, recons. And uh, let's give you... 
maintenance now. Let's give you logistics. No. Yeah, actually, let's give you logistics. Actually, that's just gonna remove. Let's keep on four. Uh, let's add. No, that's one too much. Yeah, this is gonna be a decent division. 30 combat with. Pretty cool unit. Let's save that. Swiss Guard, you are now finally in your glory days. And you are gonna do this for me. <laughs> Bringing down that single freaking province. And uh, new commander. Okay, prison break. Uh, yes, of course we always can that we need to reform our prison system. Because, well, more stability. More stability is always nice. Uh, justification is done. Um, let's just grab you four who are actually standing just beside here. Declare that war. Okay, let's just invade right here and that should be it. Bye bye nation. Come on, you're not joining anyone. Holy crap, uh, bring you down, bring you down very quickly, very quickly. Oh shit. <laughs> that could have ended really, really, really bad. Um, if, well, maybe not really, really, really bad. But fighting it China is not something I'm planning to do right now. I'm planning to do it in the future. Not now. So these are the ones um, important situation or well, these are the things I want to really much avoid. And that's why I need to, if I can't, if they're not going to join the faction I'm at war with, I need to bring them down very quickly. And that was just pure luck. What if they had a bit better defensive units right there? I couldn't have been screwed. I couldn't have been stuck in that war, pulled back more troops and went once I finally did it. Well, I couldn't break them and it would have just ended very, very badly. So that was once again <laughs> something very, very lucky that appeared. And that could have basically have completely smashed my run right there. Well, I would probably not have lost from it. But it would have been quite penalizing. And why have I lost two more tanks? All right. Um... Two more tanks down here, apparently. What am I losing them to? Attrition? I don't think so. That shouldn't be possible. Um, you should be highest. None of you should get anything until you're actually done out on the field. So the question is, why are you? Uh, more production efficiency, retention, uh, growth or cap. I want more cap. More kappa. Okay, cut that division up. Kill you. And that will basically break this into two areas. I want you four to defend the south while I clean up the north with the rest. Um, all of you assigned right here, get a new order. You're also going to get an order, which is basically go down right there. And this will probably be all right. Let's just execute that order. Yeah, I know I'm going to execute this order too, but if these four divisions are, well, is going to succeed in this, bringing down everything. Well, I won't actually complain. If they want to beat down that nation for, by themselves, feel free to do so. Um, the Fist of the Pope, both of those divisions are still left. And it's amazing that they are still holding on. Still staying strong. So you, my dear Swiss division, can you do this now? I'm really, really counting on you. You are going to get some reinforcements. You're going to build up. You are really not trained for this. Oh, I can train you a bit before I actually assault. And it would be a complete shame if you actually die from this. I would never be able to live that down. <laughs> Let this down. Live this down. I would never be able to... Come on, what's the expression? Blank out. Complete blackout. Alright, anyway. You are being brought down. Brought down into justice. Brought down by justice. Uh, none of my expression work today. I think I'm, I might be a bit too tired. Um, you're not just fighting now until your death, basically. And that's just a very bad thing to do. Um, let's just gather around, regroup a short while, and then we're just going to finish them off. All four of you should still be assigned right here. Get your reinforcements, get your men... And then we'll see what we can do. Alright, and you. Alright, you still haven't actually received your reinforcements yet. You're gonna lose more and more experience. Let's just see if you can actually do this without actually being trained. So let's just get you that extra reinforcements and then we'll see. Come on. 
78 percent 90 and that's it very good you should have full equipment very nice you don't have full manpower just yet so that might actually grab take a tiny bit longer time right you are now done let's cut this off actually holding on all right no attack right here so we're attacking at every single position you broke them right here and please let us break them right here too hold hold one right here one right there it's gonna take another two days while you retreating it's gonna take another seven days so hopefully we'll get a very very nice just over out overrun right here or maybe not or very much so beautiful beautiful all right now attack this level 10 fort from all directions and gone so that's the way you deal with level 10 forts and now as a just go down right here actually those divisions basically didn't have any troops and very no oh you actually never joined anyone so that's a end of peace which means better supply no resistance very cool so all of you get down here and then just continue the assault because I can see that you don't have much organization or well actually you have equipment but it seems like you're missing something from them so let's just push in with those tanks let's not worry about it and you let's see what you can do I want to see a yeah that's not gonna work for you either not even close <laughs> the tanks were closer than you sorry Swiss division you won't be able to do this let's just have you go back delete all orders and stay right here where you belong you should no longer take any offensive actions actually when I think about it won't you actually just give up when I bring <laughs> when I bring you down no wait are you actually the faction leader ah oh, come on I think we need more Swiss guards. <laughs> 94%. That's. Hmm. So, I need strategic bombers. And I need the fighters. Right, we don't have that many, actually. Okay, let's just grab 200 right here. And let's grab some strategic bombers right here and both of you are gonna be assigned right here well first I actually have to arrive but well you know what I mean this should definitely give me air superiority since you have well zero planes you have lost some land it controls 73% so what happens if I would press this button a couple times? Just to see how this would work. We just try out my test plan of bringing down, uh, well, bringing down the European Union with nukes. Would it work or would I have to nuke several cities? That's as someone said, and I'm a tiny bit worried then. It will be very much harder to bring down uh, European Union if I have to have air superiority at several directions and nuke several different cities that would be much harder than you snook the crap out of the same single city have you arrived yes you have uh, I can't nuke this why not we don't have enough superiority or are you actually in some other air zone yes you are all right that explained it and all right let's see this will reduce by 12%. The first nuke... Oh, pretty cool picture. Uh, first nuke dropped by the Vatican City on Malibu. That means your national unit is now down at 80... Well, 86%. Let's see what happens if I drop one more. That's going to be minus 8%. And the next one is going to be 0.0%. .0%. Too bad. Too bad, that's going to be much harder now to bring down the European Union. Actually, 86%. Did you lose anything? No, you didn't. Why didn't you? Huh. Anyway, um, right, we can still do that that old classical whale. You, uh, whale? Way. 
I might not be able to bring them down using nukes and just nuke the crap out of their unity. But I can still do, still do the classical one where I did in many many episodes before. If you can't invade them because they're too strong, nuke the crap out of them and they will fall. Um, but I will have to do that the next episode. Thank you guys for joining me for this episode. Like and subscribe and all the nice stuff. Thank you for the support of the series. You're still really really liking the series and I will try to keep this up. Um, we are a bit slow down right here, but I'll try to speed it up next episode just to fight a couple more wars and just bring down more of Africa to my side. But I need to do it. I desperately need to do it. If I am ever gonna bring down the European Union, I need more land. I need more factories. If we currently compare us and the European Union, they are still doing quite a bit better than me. But sooner or later, I will get... To, well, ne I will actually never get on top, but close to or enough on tops, well, enough below, so I can bring them down. Whatever, you know what I mean. See you later. Bye. And bye.